I made $40,000 from a single shoot that took about three days of effort, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I was able to do it and how you can do it for yourself. Now, it's a secret little word that most content creators don't even know exist and even fewer know how to implement for themselves, and that word, is licensing. Now this concept of licensing alone has allowed me to go from charging about $2,000 for a shoot all the way up to multiple five figures for the exact same amount of work. And if you implement it correctly in your business, I guarantee you, you will be able to do less shoots, get paid way more per shoot, and ultimately craft a lifestyle that you don't need a break from. Hey, what's up? My name is Nash Hagen and I've been a resort and brand photographer for the last five years, but the last two years, I've been charging licensing fees to some of the top brands in the world, including Marriott, Four Seasons, Olakai, Sandals, among many more. And I've had conversations with the marketing managers of each and every one of these companies about the exact concepts I'm about to share with you in this video. So although I'm not an expert, I do have a lot of experience in this realm, and I hope this video is valuable for you. So I'm gonna break this video down into three different sections. The first one being what even is a license fee and how does it fit into your pricing structure? The second is how to actually charge for it. And yes, I'm giving you exact numbers. And the third is the strategy on how to actually charge license fees. But before we get into the strategy, let's first define exactly what a license is. So just a basic definition, if you see it in the store, they are definitely charging a license fee for it. But license fees are only applicable to commercial and brand work. So if you're doing things like weddings or portraits, it's probably not applicable. So let's bring it back a little bit. When a client hires you, you should actually be charging them based on three different criteria. And this doesn't mean you're going to send them three invoices, but it means that you're going to kind of keep these three different criteria in mind when you're building out your quote. And those are number one, your production expense. So production expense are things like your crew, your travel, your per diem, your gear rentals, your permits, any kind of props you had, basically anything that you have to pay out of pocket for to do the shoot is a production expense. Number two is your creative fee. And this is oftentimes your day rate or your hourly rate. And this is basically just the fee that you charge to show up to do the shoot. And it's most of the time what your profit would be. And the third criteria is the one that's most often neglected and that is your rights and usage fees. And this is basically just the brand's ability to use and distribute your work. So why is this even important in the first place? Well, as a content creator, when you create a photo or a video, you are the one that owns all the rights to that image unless somebody gets a license from you to be able to use it. So because you own the rights, unless you give written permission, no one else can use your content for any reason whatsoever. Now, what licensing allows you to do is actually grant access to a brand or to a client to use your content in a certain use case in a certain amount of time. So in layman's terms, basically it allows a brand to be able to use your content for commercial purposes. So the next common objection that comes up is, isn't it scammy or kind of price gougy to charge an extra fee on top of what you're already charging the client? Because, you know, oftentimes it's pretty expensive. And the answer to that is no. It's actually a very common practice in the commercial photography realm to sell licenses. However, there's even a better reason for it. And that is when a client hires you, they're paying for you to show up. So when you charge them a license fee, that just gives them access to be able to use the content that you create for certain purposes and a certain length of time. Also, if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm going to talk about my exact strategy of how to overcome that objection. So hopefully it doesn't even come up in the first place. Super valuable. And I think you'll like it a lot. So now that we understand what a license fee is, let's talk about how to charge. And yes, I am going to show you actual numbers. But before we get into the numbers, let's talk about the three criteria that you base your license fee off of. And those criteria are use case, term, and region. So number one is use case. And this is essentially just where a brand wants to use your content. So this could be all kinds of different things like organic social, paid social, website, web ads, display ads, billboards, you know, side of a mug in the background of a TV show. Like there's all kinds of different ways that you can license out your content. And some of them really are kind of unexpected. Like for example, I did a shoot for Four Seasons last year. I sold them a full digital license, which includes any kind of digital medium they could possibly think of. And I was at the hotel the other day visiting some friends. I was in the elevator. They had a little TV showing a slideshow and we're riding up the elevator. And my wife looks to me and she's like, is that your photo on the slideshow? And I look over and sure enough, my photos are playing on a slideshow in an elevator. Like the most random thing that I didn't even think of, but it's included with that digital license. So that's just an idea of like thinking outside of the box of where a brand could possibly use this. So that being said, how do you actually know how a brand wants to use your content? Well, the first way is to ask them, you know, a lot of times they'll actually know where they want to use it right off the bat, but a lot of times they might not know right off the bat where they want to use the content. So that's your opportunity to kind of coach them and to ask them questions. So as an example, if you create a video, you could be like, hey, you know, I created this video for you guys. Where do you think it's going to live? Is it going to be on your website? Are you planning on running ads with it? Like, what do you think? And maybe they'll say, yeah, we want it on our website 
website, or maybe think of running YouTube ads, maybe even cutting it down and doing some TikTok ads, something like that. And at that point, you'll get an idea for what they want. And you can even build out custom packages. So instead of charging them individually for each different use case, which could get kind of pricey and expensive, you can actually build out packages like a full digital package or a web advertising package or just a print package, all kinds of different things in order to be able to build out something custom for them so that they can use it for only what they need. And you'd be able to give them discounts based on that. And like I said, I'm gonna show you exactly how to figure out what to charge for this in just a moment. The second criteria for licensing is term, and that's just the amount of time a client wants to use your content for, because most of the time they can't use it forever. So I'm charged anywhere from one month to in perpetuity, which perpetuity does mean forever, but at the same time, if they use it for longer, I'll usually give them a steeper discount. So for example, if I'm charging them $500 for a month to use the content, I'm not gonna charge them $500 per month for five years to use the content because it would just be unreasonable, super expensive, no one would go for that. So I'll give them a much steeper discount to use it for five years than charging $500 for, for a month. The other thing is content typically has a lifespan. So either you're shooting for a resort and they change up the room style, they can't use the photos anymore. Maybe there's ad fatigue, meaning they've run this ad so much that people are just used to it. It doesn't really work anymore. Maybe it's a clothing brand and they have a certain style out, but it only lasts for three months. So they can only use the content for three months before it's kind of irrelevant. There's all kinds of different reasons that content has a lifespan. So because of that, I'll charge a lot more for the first few months up to maybe two years just depending on the brand and then over time I'll slowly start discounting it because the content kind of loses value over that time period. And the third criteria of licensing is region and region is just the location in which they want to use your content. So this could range it could be something like local where it's just a city or a county they're using it. It could be a specific country. It could be a region which a region would be like maybe North America or Europe all the way up to worldwide which obviously the more area that they want to cover the more expensive it'll be. So just as an example if a brand and wants to use your content in say Germany, it's gonna be far less expensive than if they wanna use it in the entire region of Europe. But in the same way, if they wanna use it just in Germany, it would be far less expensive than it would be to use it in the United States. They're both countries, but the US has a much bigger market share, more buying power, all kinds of stuff. So it would be more expensive in the US to run it than in Germany. So that's why it's super important to clarify exactly what region a client is planning on using your content in so that you can clarify it, there's no confusion, and it kind of like avoids disputes later on. So I know that was a lot of information, but this is the most exciting part because we're talking about exactly how to price yourself based on these criteria. But before we do that, just do me a favor real quick and smash that like button. Not only would it help me, but it also help this video get out to a lot more creators like yourself that want to create a living creating content, and I'm sure they would be eternally grateful for you. So let's talk about how to price license fees. So like I said, this can get pretty confusing pretty quick. So I actually developed a software program that's a pricing calculator specific to these types of license fees so that you can very easily kind of figure out what you would charge for a license while you're on the phone with a client. It's super cool. And I created it specifically based off of projects I've pitched in the past, projects my friends have pitched in the past. I've tested it against real world numbers and it's like amazing. I actually personally use it myself when I'm pitching clients today. So if you wanna check it out, I got a free trial in the description below. You can sign up, get that free trial, and then follow along with this video. All right, so here we are on the back end of the pricing calculator, which again, you can get the free trial in the description below. And let's just pretend for this case that we're on a call with a client currently, and we're asking them questions. We've kind of got some basic information. You know, we know that we're a pro. We kind of estimate based on the project that's going to take about 10 hours, which is, you know, a day and a half or so, uh, maybe even just one day. And we come to a conclusion that they want about 15 photos maybe. And based on all this information, we're looking at about $250 per photo, which is gonna get us the project base cost of about $3,700. Now, again, if we look up here, that's just your content creation fee. That's just the fee to show up and do the job. If we wanna throw in travel, say it's $1,000 to travel, that's just gonna add in to our content creation fee. But again, our margin is not gonna be that entire fee. So based on that, let's click yes that the brand is making money off our content because that's gonna allow us to be able to charge a license fee. So in this case, we talked to the client, they wanted us to um, produce 15 images, right? and the client average order value, this is something we might have to guesstimate a little bit on. This is the average amount that somebody will spend in one go with a client. So a lot of restaurants will maybe be in this range, whereas a lot of resorts will be in this range. If it's a clothing company, they would likely be somewhere in here. Um, so kind of guesstimate based on what type of brand it is. So let's just say that we're doing it for a resort, right? And it's in the one to 5,000 range. Client revenue per year, again, we're gonna have to estimate this. Um, so likely they won't be under 100K because that's pretty low. They probably wouldn't have a budget. Corporate is obviously the big time companies. Uh, your mom and pop shops, you know, local restaurants, stuff like that would be around here. 
um, you know, a little bit bigger brands would be here. So let's just say they're a little bit bigger, but they're not like super big corporate. What type of license are you selling? This is when you ask them about use case and maybe they know right off the bat, which is great. You know, you can just select it here or, um, you know, if they're like, Hey, we want it for, you know, maybe YouTube ads and TikTok ads. You can kind of figure out what exactly they need. And then based on what they tell you, you can maybe go with something like digital all advertising. So that would just encompass all types of digital advertising. So let's just say that's the case. And then the last question would be what region it's in. So if it's a local company, you know, they just want in the city or, the, or their you know local county or something you know obviously we do local only a lot of companies i work with because they're u.s based either one usa or the total north america which includes mexico and canada but let's just say it's usa and that will give us our license fee per asset right here now uh, the last two are very important so if the brand asks you for perpetuity which a lot of brands are asking for nowadays and people are basically giving it to them for free do not let that be you because watch what happens when they say they want it in perpetuity that means that they want it forever so that discounts the the whole 12 months thing here and obviously you can see that the licensing fee like went up significantly higher when they want perpetuity right so brands need to understand that if you want it forever it's going to cost a lot more money and that's okay if they want to pay it they just have to understand that um and then the last thing here is exclusivity which essentially just means that you're not able to relicense these photos out to any other company, any magazine, any other brand or anything like that. So obviously that raises that fee as well. That's kind of an overview of how this looks. It gives you your licensing fee per asset. And when we scroll up here, it gives you your total licensing fee here. So when added on to your content creation fee, and that would be what you pitch the client. Now to show you the difference, this number is based on a fairly big brand, but let's just say it's a smaller brand, like a mom and pop, like local restaurant or something like that. We can go maybe at this range high, um, they're probably going to want the same advertising uh, range, right? But maybe it's just for the local area. I mean, we have two restaurants within like the county or three counties or something like that. We're going to select local only and their licensing fee is going to be significantly less. So when you scroll up here, you know, their licensing fees are only going to be 1500 as opposed to whatever the last one is. Much more affordable for, you know, a local restaurant chain or a local brand or something like that. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. So I hope that was super, super valuable for you. Again, if you want to check out the free trial for the pricing calculator, got a link in the description below that you can sign up for yourself. But that brings me to the third and final section of this video, which is the strategy of how to actually charge license fees. So in the beginning of the video, I talked about the common objection of how a lot of people think it's scammy or this price gougy to start charging license fees. And we already talked about why that's not the case, but depending on the size of the brand, they may or may not have even heard of a license fee and they may or may not be comfortable paying it. So here's how you overcome that. So for the smaller brands that maybe don't understand how licensing works, typically what I'll do is I'll actually figure out what the license fee would be. And I'll just add that into what my content fee is. So it looks like one fee. It's not like two separate line items. It doesn't look like I'm charging extra or anything like that. It's just all in one, an all-inclusive fee. And then I'll just tell them what they can and can't use the content for. And in most cases, that works out just great. But for the bigger brands with the bigger budgets, they'll definitely be used to paying license fees and they'll actually probably expect it. So I'll make sure to ask them all the questions about where they plan on using it, how long for, what region, all that kind of stuff. And then nail down a very specific number that I can give them so that they can know exactly what they'll pay for the exact license. Then I'll just include that in the contract. But typically how I'll charge it is I'll include the production expenses and my creative fee as one invoice. And I'll send that prior to even starting production. And then once I do the production, once I create the deliverables and all that stuff, then we'll have another conversation about license license fees just to make sure we're all on the same page and at that point I'll send them another invoice for the license fees and at that point I'll hand over the final images for them to be able to use. So then that brings me to another objection that a lot of people have is okay so I'm giving them this content how do I make sure that they're only using it for what they paid for and the answer to that is well you can't really be sure that they're not so a lot of it is based on trust but there also is some agencies that can kind of police it a little bit for you but for the most part if you're working with a big brand you know they have a legal team they make sure everybody is in check they don't want to get sued so i've personally never had a problem with it not saying that you won't but for the most part it's been pretty okay for me so that in a nutshell is what a license is how to charge it and ultimately how to pitch it so i hope you learned a lot in this video if you did you'd probably like to check out the free training i have on how to go from zero to six figures a year as a content creator you can check it out in the link in the description below absolutely free to check out and if you like this video you'll definitely like this one right here because i talk all about my pricing strategy my pricing structures and ultimately the best way to price yourself as a content creator super super valuable you should check it out right here but aside from that if you like this video subscribe and i will see you in the next one